everyone, this is Anchal here again. I am reporting from the Aero India show and I am standing right in front of the advanced hog jointly developed by BAE Systems and HAL. It's a trainer aircraft and the best part is that it's not even been inducted yet and this is like the latest technology that we have when it comes to training aircrafts. With me, I have two wonderful people. First, uh, we'll speak to Pete. He's the test pilot of BAE system. Uh, Pete, tell me, are you enjoying the aero show? Very much so, thank you. Yes, it's, uh, the weather's nice, much nicer than in England, and there's lots of great aircraft on display. Right. So, which has been, have you, so you saw the inaugural fl uh, fly pass yesterday? I saw the fly pass. I really like the Yakovlev team. I think they did a good display. And I missed, I'm looking forward to seeing the Syrikirians, though. Right. That's great. So, Pete, tell me, how long have you been with the BAE systems? So I've been with BAE for 11 years. I served in the Air Force, the Royal Air Force, for 20 years, flying Harriers, and I became a test pilot about five years before I left the Air Force. Right. So, how long have you been working with the uh, Advanced Hawk program? So, we've been working on the Advanced Hawk for a few years now. I've been working on the Hawk program since I worked for the company, so that's about 11 years or so. And uh, the inception of the, the idea of this has been really the it's the next generation. It's a natural step forward for the Hawk program. Tell me, can you give me a few specifications of, of the Hawk, something that the layman will understand? Okay, so the, the, the layman might understand we have a, an advanced wing which has a leading edge slat and a combat flat which provides uh, more lift, a better turn rate. We have an uprated engine which provides digital control which gives the pilot the ability to move the throttle uh, as he wishes or she wishes. It's very safe. It will protect from surge and it also has an auto relight function. There are a number of other features of the aircraft like nose wheel steering, traffic collision avoidance system, ground proximity warning system and autopilot which make it much safer for the pilot to operate today. So it's easier to fly but, uh, but much safer also. So uh, tell me what's the best part about flying the Hawk? The, the performance, the performance of the Hawk is fantastic and I think any pilot including all the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy pilots I would challenge any of them to deny that they enjoy flying the Hawk. The handling qualities are great, it's a lovely aeroplane, it talks to you while you're flying, it's, it's, it's a great system. What we have here, we've got the one of the other aspects of this aeroplane, one of the really sort of strikingly different aspects is the display in the cockpit. The cockpit has actually a full glass, glass display, the large area display we call it, which is very similar to the F-35. So as you told me sometime before that uh, this hasn't been inducted as yet, you're really looking forward to it and you're going to be the first person who will be flying this aircraft. So are you excited? Absolutely. It's every, it's every pilot's dream, I think, to fly an aeroplane the first time and obviously for a test pilot sometimes we're lucky enough for that to come true. But it's a great it's a great program. Lots of people have worked very hard on this program, BAE and HAL, and uh, we're looking forward to flying the aircraft that we have in the UK at Wharton in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much, Pete. That was Pete with us and we have more exciting updates coming up, so stick with us. Thank you so much.